Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. We are about to end service catalog series and in today's video we discuss about workflows. If you want to watch all the videos of service catalog go to this playlist. You see this playlist, all the videos of service catalog are here in a very sequential manner. So you can come here and check it out. If you want to see this information in Hindi, you can come here on this channel, ServiceNow Help Text Hindi and the same playlist is also available here. Okay, this is the playlist service catalog. So with this, let's start today's video about workflows. Workflow is a very creative part of ServiceNow fulfillment process. In the last video of this series, we already discussed execution plan, which was the linear one. So in ServiceNow, we have this complete application dedicated to workflow. Let's go to workflow editor. So this is the interface of workflow editor. In here you see all the available workflows. You can find the workflow which you have created or you can create a new one. Let me open one of the existing workflow, demo item workflow. So you see this is how the workflow looks like. It's always start with begin and it ends here. Okay, and in between you have your business logic in between you have your activities each and every box you see here is known as activity. Okay, so these activities are of n number of types based on your requirement you have to select your activity and then keep it here like you see here we are setting the values here we are uh, adding approvals to the group. Okay, here we are adding a catalog task and then finally it is coming to end. So anyhow, there is one beginning and there is one end. So with this explanation, let me create one sample workflow for you. Click on new workflow. So in here, provide the name to the workflow. Let's say workflow 911 and you have to provide the table. As we are doing it for service catalog, the table which we use is requested item. Okay, because this workflow is ultimately going to attach to RITM table. In case you want to create a workflow for change request, in that case you have to attach the table as change request. For now, let's attach requested item. This is the table, SCREQ item. Keep all other things like as it is, out of box value should be okay. Now click on submit. So now this is the very basic. I already told you there is a beginning, there is an end. You can drag and drop it to anywhere. Now just select this and click on delete. Now in between you have to add your activities and these activities should be belongs to your business logic. So let's say in my request, I want to ask for approval first. So what I do here, just right click, click on add core activities and add the approval activity. So you see here, there are two or three approvals, right? And I want to give an approval for user. That is a direct approval to some user. Let's say my manager or uh, a business leader, okay? So click on it. Provide name to your approval. Let's say BU approval. And then you have to provide the stage. So if you click here, these are the six stages. So what is the stage? So it is basically a field that will provide the end user some idea about the current status of your request. Okay, so let's say I select waiting for approval because we are waiting for approval from BU. So this stage will be appearing on the stage field of requested item. And whenever the user visit that requested item or open that requested item, he or she will see that current stage of my request is waiting for approval. So he or she will understand, okay, this is the current stage. This is where the request is at the moment. So just for information purpose, we have this field which is syncing between the workflow and the requested item. So I hope you are getting it. Based on your requirement, you can create any number of stages. Out of box, there are only six stages available. How to create the stage, we will see in the later part of the video. In case you have any condition, you can provide here, but generally we do not provide condition. And then you have to provide the approvals because we asked for user approval. You have the option to add the approval from here. My view head is this Lucas. So I added that name, okay, just lock it. If you want, you can add a number of users. 
if you want to add yourself click on this assign me if you want to add users with the help of script if there is any need then you can do show as well okay so we are not adding it right now and then rest of the value should be out of box you need not to add it okay just click on submit you see the approval step is ready this is the complete activity you see the stage here you see the name here you have two options either it got approved or it got rejected right and where you want to place it just like here so now after beginning you want the control should go to approval okay then you have to attach it like this and then after approval what will happen you have to decide that if it rejected you want it the workflow to get end okay and if get approved you want to add one task okay so now let's say I want to add the task so go to core activities find out the task as this is catalog item so you have to add catalog task generally again the same thing you have to provide name and stage let's say fulfillment task okay a stage is fulfillment you have the option to select the priority of the task as you have selected catalog task so you see here the table is already pre-selected that is SC task this is service catalog task and you have the option to wait for completion it means until unless the task is completed the workflow will not go forward so here you have to provide the fulfillment group that is the group which is doing some action on this task so let's say I have added app engine admins and then provide the short description of the task let's say check details and complete the task then if you want to give some instruction provide it it will be passed on to the task as it is then if you want to run this workflow based on some schedule you can uh, add the things here but generally we avoid this okay and then in case you want to add the field values with the help of script you can do so more about the scriptings we will understand in the later videos but just you see here very basic thing task dot short description it means task is the out of box variable or object which you use for task values so task dot short description equal to current dot short description that is whatever the value of the short description right now it will be passed on to the task and current here represent the requested item if you want to pass let's say assign to value if you want to pass any of the value of uh, requested item to the task you have to do like this but right now we are not using advanced okay just leave it and these all are the variables if you want to show the variables of the catalog item within the task as well so in that case you have to select the variable so just control a move all here and by doing this what all variables you have in your catalog item will be displayed here rest all will be vanished okay so very simple after that just click on submit so your catalog task activity is also ready just connect approve okay and then finally at the end I want to add one log so just see here there are total 115 activities so in order to get mastery on this workflow you have to understand all these activities one by one based on your requirement you understand these things it's not much uh, hard but you must know what all activities are doing so let's say I want to add some logs so just find log log a message okay so let's give the name provide the stage let's say it is completed now right after the task is come here so here we provide completed because the task is completed and the request is finally completed and provide the message let's say so any simple message this is my message okay submit so I want this message to be logged here okay so just connect this to this and then finally we come to the end so this is the simple workflow again I'm telling you that based on your requirement you have the opportunity to use that 115 activities okay it depends on requirement to requirement what you want to have but this is how you do it okay so now this particular workflow is ready but at the moment this is checked out by me 
until unless you publish it you will not able to see it anywhere okay so let's say i want to publish it once it is published it is available in market that is that is this workflow can be attached to the catalog item so now let's go to the catalog item maintain item let me open this catalog item so now go to process engine and replace the workflow this one so now this workflow is attached to this catalog item so this is the complete service catalog experience so now let me click on try it let's provide some email here click on order now the request is generated this is the item which is attached so you see here first of all the stage which is waiting for approval and for our workflow again the very first step is waiting for approval so this is how the stage will maintained so now at the bottom you see two approvers right first one is me and then lucius so as i am an admin i can approve from anyone so any one approval will work here so as soon as item is approved you see the stage is going to fulfillment and you see the catalog task here and it is assigned to the same group app engine admins and you see the short description of the task let me open this task you see the variables as well here because we have added the variables to the catalog task as well so now let me see the workflow of this requested item this is the body right this is the actual workflow but but the context of this workflow will get attached to the requested item so let's come here let's click on show workflow this is the workflow actually this is done it is blue this is also done because we already provide the approval but this is the current one which is in green right it is running that is that is the catalog task is still open yes it is open you see here okay so now let me come to this task and close this as soon as we close this task you see the requested item is complete the stage is complete let me refresh this this is closed and it will come here the message is also logged and it will come to the end let me go to uh, the logs you see here this is the log which is generated workflow 911 request completed so this is how the complete workflow will take place let me refresh this item and you will see the stage is complete the state is complete and the workflow is also finished i hope you understand the complete workflow process here the more activities you use the more confidence you get in the workflows so get on to the practice along with the workflow editor you have the option to schedule the workflows you have the option to see the stages of the workflow i told you right now only six stages are there but based on your choice you can create a number of stages so this is up to your administrator or up to you okay you click on new and create a new stage that will appear in the workflows you see the context here i already told you what is a context so if you click on active context it will show you all the workflows which are executing state okay and if you see all context it will show you the complete context which were generated till now for all the workflows for all the items you see this is the one which is generated for our record right ritm 103 ritm 103 and state is finished because the workflow is already completed finished you have the option to see the workflow properties so based on your organizational needs you can update these properties okay all are self explanatory okay just go here update if you want one last thing if in case you want to make any change in this workflow okay so your manager came to you or the business leader came to you okay we need to add one more activity to this particular workflow so in that case you have to come to the workflow editor click on open the workflow and then first of all check out the workflow okay if you click right now because it is published you will not be able to do anything everything will be uh, read only here so first of all you have to check out 
make whatever changes you want to do okay whatever you need to add a new activity you need to add your approval you need to add anything whatever you want to do you can perform okay once you are done again publish it so until unless you publish it the new changes will not be come into picture once you publish it then only it will happen and during the time you checked out the item the old version which was published is only available to the users which are using that catalog item i hope you got all the points let us know if you have any questions thank you so much bye bye